Okay. Let me get all this into perspective. Because I think it needs to be said. Um, Gilbert Arenas. If I'm not mistaken. Because I want to be clear. If I'm not mistaken, what you're saying is that in your excellent expert opinion, right? In your excellent expert opinion, That this HBO deal that you got for people disrespecting each other live on stage. And HBO is willing to give you $500,000. Kwame Brown was right there. And y'all had a conversation. Shouts out to Ed Fair you, Mr. Fair you. And Kwame asked you a very good question. He said, how did you acquire this money? Because you can't pitch this show with a bunch of no-name people. Meaning that people don't have any names, they don't have any Hollywood star power. Who are you going to pitch this show to to make it jump? And he said, whack 100. And I said, wow. Because he asked me, like, you want to fight WAC 100? I could set that up. This is what he meant. I didn't understand what he had meant at the time. I'm like, I talk to WAC every day, which I used to. He, 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 I guess he got mad and hung up the phone. The other day, or just sent me the messenger, or he was busy, but he ain't hit me back yet. But I'm going to reach back out to him because we got some things to discuss. Now, here's the news. Good people. Gilbert Arenas claimed... WAC 100 was the guy to secure the $500,000. HBO was happy when he said the name WAC 100. Um, here's the thing. WAC 100 can't get $500,000 for an appearance for his artists. <laughs> Ain't nobody going to pay WAC 100 no $500,000 for himself and his own artists. So if he can't get that for his own artists and his own people that he represent and himself, how is Gilbert Arenas going to get $500,000 to promote a show using WAC 100's name to get the show? Not his own name. WAC 100. That's what he said. Now, Gilbert's not going to be on the show, apparently. He's only going to produce the show. Now, me being very familiar with how HBO do their business, normally when they do a show like this, it's very limited, and they only have a test pilot that they would do for the show. Because they're not going to invest a lot of money into this project. HBO has already made this show years ago that had all of today's comics that you see now from Monique to, to uh, Tracy Morgan. All of these uh, athletes was on there. Uh, DC Fly. 
I don't think DC Fly was on there. What's the other one? Are you talking about oh, Michael Blackston? He was on there. It was a show called Snaps, where everybody would basically grab the microphone and would just roast each other, and they stand on the stage and they throwing insults back and forth. Snaps. But these were comedians, you know. So comedians doing something like this. It would make sense to using regular YouTubers. You know, I mean, it's best for a producer of the show because you wouldn't have to pay out much. It's like Charlemagne basically using and stealing jokes from people off Twitter and going on the Breakfast Club and using them in the morning. Right? Then after he used them and he gets his MTV show, he says, well, I'm going to take some of these guys off social media and get them a chance and get them a job. No, because he knows they're not represented by real agents. So he could use and manipulate them and basically pay them way below the rate that they're supposed to be getting paid. They wouldn't know the difference. So... These scenarios always play themselves uh, and play out in the media. They play out all the time in the media. So it's nothing new when you see this uh, pop up and show its head because we've seen this movie. We've seen this story. We know how this ends. Now, the whole world has come into this hysteria of we just love to see people disrespected. So we move in these tropes. Now, Gilbert Arenas who came up hard growing up in the valley but never really having that parental figure around dad did the best he could in turning him into a man and I applaud him for taking care of his children and being in his children's lives and trying to be a strong father for them. But he never had anybody to really mature him to the point of manhood and say, all right, it's time to step up and be a man now, Gil. This is what you got to do from here on out. He never really had that. And because he's missing that, It holds him back. I've seen him held back um, a lot because he doesn't really process what's happening around him. He's basically, his brain is stuck on, I got to get revenge. Or people's after me, so I'm going to get them back. He's always got to have his way in some type of vindictive manner. When someone who's supposed to be a hundred million dollar NBA basketball player, it's like beneath anyone who would even, you know, pay attention or who been in the same industry as them. Like other ball players would be like, "This still going on? Like, <laughs> like they can't believe it. Like, why would, why would this still be happening?" Why would Gil care? There must be something more to it than meets the eye. He's a hundred million dollar NBA basketball player. But he knows what? All these NBA players, right? Matt Barnes, 
Steven Jackson, Chris Paul, LeBron James. He knows all these people. But he can't go on anyone's YouTube page but a drunk alcoholic <laughs> a drunk alcoholic who sits in a chair smoking hookah about to fall over slobbing all over himself stumbling over his words he, he doesn't have any questions to ask you because you're not going to get any real information out of him because he doesn't even know anything about you Gilbert he doesn't know anything. All he knows is that you were a teammate of Kwame Brown's. He didn't watch a game you played. He don't understand a damn thing about you. But yet, you feel a need to go on his platform and do this to yourself. And lower yourself. Now... I know what you're saying. Nobody knows this guy. Nobody's ever going to. He's not going to bring Gummy around any of his A-list friends. He ain't going to be like, oh, I want y'all to meet Gummy. They ain't going to be like, who the hell is that? Now... Right, you take this guy somewhere, you fly him out, he got to, he be, man, I didn't know y'all was going to have all this food out here. I still got some, some, some stuff right here from the plane. I had some chicken up in there, so I just wrapped it up in a napkin and stuck it in my pocket. Uh, I didn't know y'all was going to have this spread. I should have known, Gil. Shoot. But you know me, man, I come prepared, man, so I already... I just had this chicken. I just rolled it up in this napkin and got it in my pocket. So I, I'll eat that later. Oh, uh, man, this look good. Shoot, boy. Shouts out to Gilbert Rennes. You know how to have a spread when people come over. That's why I like Gilbert Rennes. Because you, you know he real. And it's, it's very rare you get, get, get somebody real. Real to come around and and things he do and what he did, man. When he scored all the points on Kobe and 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 stuff you do give, man. You just a great guy, man. I just don't. <laughs> <laughs> he got nothing. He knows nothing about Gilbert. <laughs> no research. Nothing. He has nothing to add. <laughs> Gilbert does all the talking and that's all he wants to do. So that's why he uses that guy. Because he knows that guy just going to go on with whatever he said. Man, that 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 make a lot of sense. Man, uh, Gilbert, you smart, man. If we just take some of that, that ice, one of them icicles from Alaska and just sell that thing over to the, to the people in Africa, then they had clean, fresh water. Yeah, we just take one of them little ice cubes, and when Gilbert could put that together, man, see, that's 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 t taking care of people, man. That's Gilbert. I be like, wasn't it melt before it get to Africa? See, you just negative. <laughs> that's that Kwame Brown stuff. <laughs> Gilbert said it'll work. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. See, Gilbert Smart, we put a, a Red Bull sticker on it and just sailing over to Africa. <laughs> Everybody gonna wanna put a sticker on that. See, see, Kwame Brown don't understand that. It's a marketing, it's a bigger picture. <laughs> Why would you argue with DJ Vlad? <laughs> Vlad doesn't, he doesn't be on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> Vlad.
Vlad only watches Instagram. Oh, man. That's what he told me. I'm like, anywhere I can. Vlad then blocked me on Twitter. So. We going to see what we going to do next. Oh, man. I've seen a lot of things in my lifetime. But what seemed to always get me is the stupidity of others. And how they try to manipulate the public. They try to manipulate people to believe what the hell they want them to believe. I have no problem with going out doing all these things i really didn't i don't have no problem doing that it's always these other idiots that come along and and make these accusations and all that and and when you say something comment on it oh you just take it up for kwame brown let kwame fight his own wars i'm like i can't make a comment Kwame fighting his own war. Kwame doing a damn good job fighting for himself. And he ain't even fighting. He's just telling the truth. <laughs> Y'all are some beta males. This fool actually called Kwame Brown all night long and texting him. If Kwame was to go to the cops, this fool would be arrested. But what type of an idiot human being would even stoop to such a low? That's stalkerish. But that's something a scorned woman would do, stay up all night texting another a man. Why would another man stay up all night calling another man? I mean... That don't make you look cool or you ain't doing nothing to him. Because he'll just silence his phone and go to sleep. You the one staying up every hour on the hour. Calling this man. That's what looks ridiculous. So... On that note, I say that to say this. I'm very happy that these people are getting exposed for who they are. Two, I'm not going to do anything with that HBO show or whatever, whatever comes with that. Because how are you going to get money approved for a show when you don't even have people that's agreed to do it? It's not even formed. No one knows the layout of it. And they already talking, here's $500,000. That just sounds insane. Somebody probably had a pitch idea for a project show, not something HBO is going to green light. Even in the next six months, you would have to put something together. That would make it worthwhile. Me, I have no intentions of doing that. It would take them to give me $500,000 to even think about doing it. And the whole thing is, we going to do this so that we can one day go to HBO. Huh? <laughs> I'm like, got to get my Joe button on. Huh? <laughs> I got to do that in hopes of 
one day, <laughs> someday, I'm going to make it. And we're going to get there. Crazy. Well, I'm out. <sighs> I am totally, 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 totally burnt out from all of this nonsense. When are we going to wake up? Kwame Brown addressed him the proper way when they got on the live stream. Gilbert got issues, man. I don't know what this is about. It might have been a woman. It seems like a woman. Whenever you see a guy do something like this and they got $100 million and all this stuff and they worried about somebody who not even on their wavelength of thinking, meaning that they are thinking in a whole different, <laughs> whole different way than you. They don't think and let me be attached to this guy and kiss up to him. See, I can't lie to myself. I can't walk around 24 hours a day lying to myself. I can't sit there and lie for somebody else. That don't sit right to me, but definitely lying to myself. That's the worst part. Like, how do you feel comfortable in conversations when you lie to yourself? I've seen these people do it with Jay-Z. Like, hip-hop and guru and all those guys, you know, like, they are just, like, extra. You know, like, they are just completely, like, Jay-Z groupies, in other words. They are totally all the way in. And I'm just could never ever be anything like that. Not saying they're not good people. I'm just saying they just, it's just like when I see something like that, I'm just like, oh, hell no. The way they act around other men, like the minions, and the way they act, it's just, I just couldn't do that. I've seen it with Floyd. I, I can't, the people around him, some of the people that's around him. I couldn't do that for five minutes. I couldn't. So, I think, in all fairness, people need to learn how to be more, more goal-oriented. You know, as far as being individuals, standing up for your own, being a man. You know, people are afraid to say somebody is wrong or someone else is right when they're telling the truth because they are afraid of what's going to happen because, oh, I don't, I don't want to upset LeBron. The hell you mean you don't want to upset him? If he's upset about it, then that's tough on LeBron. He the one got to deal with that. He the one that's being a punk. So if that bothers him, then shit. <laughs> That ain't your fault. He, he need to just man up. But that's that's been the problem with a lot of things in this world, man. People are just so, so screwed up. It just don't even make sense. I'll definitely hit the like button, subscribe, share, just like the banner says. Uh, thank you for the cash app, too, to the, uh, the Carcino's, the name on the cash app. Appreciate it. 
We're going to do another Patreon live stream, if not today, tomorrow, because we got a lot to say, especially about you, Vlad. Oh, man. Well, that's about it. <laughs> Gonna go lay it down. Y'all have a great day, afternoon, whatever time it's gonna be <laughs> when this video come out. But, damn. Gil, you gotta get that out your system, man. That is not healthy to be so locked in on another man. That is, that don't look right, bro. I, I got to tell you, to be that fat and factuated with what Kwame Brown is doing and using an alcoholic, somebody who totally needs AA and everything else, you need to go ahead and get that fixed, bro. For real. Get that dude some help. <laughs> nah, I mean... I'm out. Love, peace, and hair grease.